Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name is Trevor. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to replace your brake pads on a 2014 Cadillac SRX. This is my mom's car, and we're gonna be showing you how to do that today. So go ahead, enjoy the intro, and we'll catch you right afterwards with the tools you need and what it's gonna take. as far as tools you're going to need a flathead screwdriver a 22 millimeter socket or you can use a four-way for the lugs and then i'm going to go to this other side while dayton's working on that side so these bolts i stand corrected is a 13 bolt and then that is a 19 nut right there other than that that's all you guys are going to need you could use a flathead screwdriver to pry this piston back into place or you could if you got one of those fancy little brake piston compressor deal leo whoppers yep you can go ahead and use that too but i like to live on the cheap side and use the tools i got so flathead screwdriver and go ahead and i'll show you guys how to do that in just a little bit all right for our first step here we are going to pop off the center cap so I got a little flathead screwdriver that I'm gonna go ahead and use. Get inside there. Pop that out, set it to the side. And now we can loosen the lug nuts. The lug nuts are a 22 millimeter. So what we'll be using, break those free. And then we'll go ahead and jack the car up. We're gonna do the same process on the other side so we can get two done at once. Let's go. Thank you. So now that we got the car safely on jack stands and the jack under there is extra precaution, we can go ahead and remove these lugs, which should all be pretty loose from us breaking them free down below. And then we can remove the wheel and get right to our brake caliper. So let's speed this process up, show you guys when we get the wheel off. All right, so now to make another step this easier, we got us some knocker loose spray here. We're just gonna go ahead and spray. Woo, that was a lot. Spray some of that on these bolts. All right, so this is actually a 13 millimeter bolt on the back side and a 19 millimeter nut on the back side, on this back side. And this is, I suppose, the front side. Same thing down here, 13 millimeter. So you'll need a 13 and a 19 millimeter wrench. But before we go ahead and take the caliper off, we're gonna stick a little pry bar inside of there and push our brake piston in, and that'll allow us space to put the new pads in and put the caliper back on after the fact. All right, so now that we got our brake pad free of the caliper, we can pull the caliper free and then we have to support it. So we're gonna set it <clears throat> right down in there like so. I'm gonna take it real quick. I'll show you guys, I just have it sitting right there. There's a little bit of slack here. So that, that way it's not hanging by it. And now, you take the camera Cohen, our cameraman Cohen here. Go ahead and sit back I'll down do it. Yep. Nice and steady. So we can take our brake pads and we can check them. Okay, so now we have our new brake pads in hand and our old ones off. We're gonna put the one with the little squeaker on the back side here. Your arm is what? dead his arm is dead <laughs> so just like that and then we're going to take this one and do the same thing on this side put that bottom in yep and pinch that top one in and that's good so then we're going to take these little pistons out we're gonna re-grease them and then we'll just stick them back in like so so 
So now we're just going to put some lube on here. Just like that. Smear it around. I'll go ahead and stick it right back in. Show them where I'm putting this at. So it's going right in there and we're just going to push it all the way in. Do the same thing to the top one and then we'll put the caliper back on. All right, so now we've got these greased, the brake pads on. It's time to bring the caliper back over here. Just like that. Boom, slips right on. And then it's ready for us to put these bolts back in. Which may take a little bit of wiggling around. Like that. It's a lot easier with two hands, guys. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. I got it. It's, we're good. So we're just going to go ahead and tighten those bolts in and then we'll be able to put the wheel back on and tighten the lugs, torque them down, and we'll be done with this brake job. So while we're doing this side, we are also have Dayton over here knocking out the passenger side, doing step by step with me as we go. Got his hands nice and dirty from greasing those up and I believe he is ready to put the caliper on as well. So. If this video helped you guys out, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We'll have more how-to videos coming your way. All sorts of vehicles. And if you guys are into watching our family share our faith and have a little bit of fun while doing so, definitely click that red subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great night. God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true This God it thinks of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ